Liesel here with a quick sewing tip. Today we're going to talk about seam ripping. There are two ways to rip a seam. One is sort of the more traditional way that you probably learned when you first started sewing. The other way is a lot faster. It's not useful for everything, but I think it's a really nice skill to have. In the traditional method of ripping a seam, you slip the little pointy end of the seam ripper underneath the thread and then you push against it until you break the thread. And you keep doing that every four or five stitches along the seam. Just breaking that thread. And this can be time consuming if you have really small stitches especially, or if you have a really long seam that you need to rip. And then when you get to the end of your seam, you turn it over you grab hold of that thread and start pulling and all of the seam will come out in one go. So that's not too bad. And you just have a bunch of little leftover threads to pull out. In the fast method, instead of using the point of the seam ripper, we'll turn it over and use that little ball and instead of ripping individual stitches, what I do is fold the seam back on itself, insert the seam ripper underneath the stitches, and then just push right through. And if you hold the seam a little bit taut, you can feel all of those stitches tear out. Just like that. So next time you have to rip a seam, you have two different methods you can choose from.